Hi everybody, it's Laura. Welcome back. Um, I got, I got a project coming up that I want to work on. So I've got stuff kind of sitting there, but I have a couple of things. I do have an order. Um, I like to order from Art Beads when they have things on sale. So of course I have a coupon code. And then I have another order um, that I ordered through my pamper, my brother's pampered chef party. I'm going to show that. Um, today was my payday. I didn't really have a video ready for today. Um, so this video is going to be kind of short. Um, but anyways, I did need to reorder a few things. Um, and I ordered like um a different color on this and i know you've seen some of this stuff but in order for me to make more things because honestly 50 yards of this does not go far <laughs> trust me um so i got more of the eight pound crystal fire line in the 50 yards when you're using a wingspan you're talking like because you pull off more than a you know a wingspan plus is what i do when it's a wingspan so you're pulling off like five feet or more at a time okay so i did pick up more of the zoli duos 40 more of these because i think this color is going to go like that um and I'm going to make some, not with just the white, but I'm going to put some of the gold with them and see how that turns out. And then I also want to use the gold with these. Um, this is the, for those of you that haven't seen these, um, Zoli Duos. These are what I'm making the paisley. Uh, these are kind of like the paisley shape, but there's left and right. Okay. And I am going to mark these. All right. So, zero, two, five, eight. Let me see the numbers here. I want to mark these because when I was doing the video, BCT, hmm. TMP, I'm trying to figure out how to, 0258, 284, I don't see anything that's going to collaborate to tell me. So I'll have to look back at my um, original order and see if I can find a way to collaborate to figure out which ones are left and which ones right. So when I make a video, I can keep track of which one's which. All right. So for those of you that haven't seen a video with those, um, let me show you the earrings. They're sitting right here. And of course, I have one earring in one spot, one earring of like it in the other, and they kind of slipped over on me. So I know that's sitting right here, but there's the one in the white, and here's the pair of the blue. Um, I was looking at it, and then I didn't put them both in the same spot. But these are the blue ones. They're really, really pretty. And I need to baggy these up. That's what I get for picking things up and looking at it, see what I needed. <laughs> Guys, I'm, there it is. There's the other white one. So they're very easy to do. And that's what these Zoli duos are, but they're left and right. Unlike the Paisley where they're flat sided on both sides and you don't need left or right. So that explains why there's left and right on the Zoli duos. For these earrings. 
All right, and then I went ahead and I picked up more of the um, Perma Finish Galvanized Starlight on the uh, 11 0 Toho's. Um, I use these a lot, so I picked up two more. Again, they were on sale. And then I picked up this. These are beautiful. Um, these are for a pair of earrings that I want to do. And I always make sure I have more than what I'm says that I need because I want to do more than one earring. Um, one more, more than one pair. So these are inside color aqua purple lined. Aren't they beautiful? Round size 11 0 toe hose. But they are beautiful. Let me go ahead and pull one open gently. Oh my goodness, look at that. Kind of keep it from um, they just shine, they're really pretty. Now, I did um, get a chance to open up the package of the 11 O's from Bargain Bead Box, they are beautiful. But the inside hole is very small. Um, and I tried to like put them on a pin like you would, um, like the 11 O's, I could put them on a pin. I just kind of want to set them there. These are the ones from Bargain Bead Box. And the holes look big, like they should go on a pin, but they don't. Um, I could slip these all on a pin, and they went on. But the holes on these, um, for some reason, from Bargain Bead Box, these 11 o toe hose. Well, now that one went on. Maybe I just picked up a couple of bad ones in a row. So anyways, those are the ones from Bargain Bead Box. And they're a real pretty color. They were in a baggie, so I stuck them in there. So um, you just want to make sure before you start a project to make sure you have plenty because you don't know. Um, like the inside holes look smaller on some than on others. Like, I know I've heard people say that the lining, uh, if you have some that are lined, they're going to be different. Um, especially if they are, like, the metal lined or something like that. Now, the other item I ordered is in this big bag. And how many of you have bought potato mashers? And no matter what you do, they rust. And I should have... I don't know. I don't think I kept my potato masher. I think I got rid of it because it was rusty. That's my packing slip. And I'm sick of, and I'm tired of having to wash it because even washing it before I use it, the rust wasn't coming off. I went and used it thinking, oh, the rust isn't coming off and I wash it. And then I use it. And the rust is gone. And that rust is in my potatoes. And I'm like, that's gross. I threw the potatoes out. I, I'm sorry. It sounded terrible, but that's what I did. And I have bought, I don't know how many potato mashers. And I don't like those kinds that just have the, the round circle and then the holes in it. I don't like those. I like a real potato masher, you know, that has this. That's a potato masher. So when my brother said he was having a pampered chef party, and I'll tell you, I ordered this um, on the 21st or 20, late on the 21st or the 20, yeah, late on the 21st, I got my confirmation that, that the order was, you know, had gone through on the 22nd and this came yesterday on the 20, on the 29th. So I've had it. I was just waiting to get all my stuff together. 
And yes, I bought a potato masher. Wow, that is a big potato masher. Okay. And I like that it has this bend because it will lay in the um, drawer flat. Let's open this thing up. Let me get a pair of my scissors here. Let's get this plastic off this and check this tater masher out. Isn't it terrible when you get excited over a potato masher? Now, I have put my potato mashers in the oven to dry them. So, I'm assuming we squeeze a little. Look at that. Put it in line. Look at that. Oh my gosh. That is a meaty potato masher. I like that. Yes. You know, I've, I've done everything I could to um, keep my potato mashers from um, rusting. And all the mashers I've ever seen have always had like crinkles here and crinkles here and, you know... So, this looks nice and smooth. I love that I can lay this out and put it in the drawer. That is cool. That is a really, really cool design. That is amazing <laughs> uh, to get excited over a potato masher. I'm sorry, guys, but really think about it. Well, Anyways, I'll have to tell my brother I'm really thrilled with the potato masher. I believe his party is still going. So, um, if it is, it'll be linked below. Um, and you can check it out. I think March, there's like all new stuff on sale and stuff like that and promotions. So, all right, guys, I'm going to get off here and quit my gabbing. And I will talk to all of you guys down in the comments below. There's going to be some new stuff coming out. Um, I have this project here coming with these super duos and crystals. Um, and then I have, I was waiting on this. And then I have some other projects coming. I'm waiting. It'll be another probably... 10 days before I get at least before I get my order from bargain art, not bargain B, um, BB craft. I have an order from them coming. It is a collaboration. So, um, it is going to be sponsored by them. So I have all that coming, um, plus so much more. Um, so, and bargain B box, I've already gotten my, um, email saying that it's been shipped. But I probably won't actually see that it's been shipped until, I don't know, it might show an actual movement today. So, hopefully, middle of next week, I might have it. Fingers crossed. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I know this. Oh, wait. Look at what I found. I know in one of my videos, I was saying I love the iced um, animal cookies. I found them at the Dollar Tree today. So I'm thrilled. Plus at the Dollar Tree, I did pick up more of the trays. So anyways, guys, I'll talk to all of you guys down in the comments below. Bye, everybody.